Nora, Ontario. We're about to go load up my trailer back there. And head on down to Brainerd. It is bright and early. Oh, up before the sun. That's not natural. That's okay. I want to get loaded today and I want to get unloaded today. So I have to start early so that hopefully everything can get done in one day. Then we can run over to Minneapolis and get ready for our next load first thing tomorrow morning. Get a little bit of a jump start on it and I can get home tomorrow night. Let's get going. Proceed to the highlighted route. I'm number two. First loser. Number two through the gate this morning. I tried hard to get here first. Some guys are just bigger keeners than me, I guess. <laughs> one of these days we're gonna be number one. It doesn't matter. I mean, there's two of us here. The guy in front of me and me. So there's two tarping bays and uh, more than one guy loading trucks. So we'll probably both be tarping at the same time and out of here at the same time. So it doesn't really affect, it just affects my pride a little bit. I wanna be number one. <laughs> Not number two. Never number one. Let's get this freight on the trailer. Let's get it tied down. Let's get it tarped. Let's get out of here. Let's get unloaded today yet. It's it's kind of tight to get unloaded because by the time we get out of here and we get there, we usually get there. We don't have too much time to spare, maybe like an hour or two to spare along the way. And that's for any delays like traffic or border or coffee. Like we, there's no time to stop for lunch. You just got to drive right through. So there's definitely not two hours. I should say we have about an hour to play with in there and that that could you know you get stuck behind a slow vehicle on a two-lane highway through ontario and minnesota here you, we can't just pass like cars can we're just stuck behind them and if they're going really slow that could waste a lot of our time so uh, hopefully nothing like that happens today and we get unloaded and then uh buzz on down to minneapolis find a place to park there's not a lot of places to park around shakopee that's that's for sure do you guys know of any good truck stops around Shakopee? Like close by? There used to be one down in, uh, what was that town called, just west of there. They took the parking away from there. And there's one that's just east of Shakopee, like a little closer. But there, that's pay to park now. And I don't want to pay 20 bucks a night just to park. And you, you don't really get anything for it either. It's just, you just, anyway. <laughs> it bugged me that they did that. Uh, then there's a, a McDonald's that has about five parking spots for trucks in Shakopee, but there's signs all over the place that says 30 minute parking only. Like it's just supposed to be for guys to be able to come in, grab some food, grab a coffee and go. They're not supposed to park there overnight. So I don't want to get towed or get in trouble or anything. So I don't want to park there. You guys have any ideas of where to park near Shakopee? I'm listening.
Emily, Minnesota. That is the lake right there that uh, in summertime you can hardly even see. Except for these little gaps in the trees here. I went for a walk around Emily last summer with Diesel. You remember that? Nice little town. Beautiful lake right here. Surrounded by beautiful cottages all the way around. And there's another lake on our right as well. That I didn't even know existed. Minnesota. There's lakes everywhere, just like Manitoba and Ontario. I love northern Minnesota. Reminds me a lot of home. I mean, we're, we are right next door, the exact same region. So it makes sense. There's just a lot more people here. And again empty. Another happy delivery. Just got all my paperwork done. Got everything ready. I'm gonna head down to Shakopee now and try to find somewhere to park nearby. My appointment is for uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow. So I want to show up there at about 8 30 or so. And uh, go from there. I'm just gonna walk across the street here. There's a gas station right there. Okay, we're done. Done the day. Woo! It's raining outside. Oh, my hat is soaked. All I did was walk around the truck, make sure my truck was good. So uh, we're in Shack P. Shack Dack P. Just around the corner from, uh, oh, close to, anyway, as close as I can be to uh, where I got a load in the morning. So I gotta be there. When's my appointment? Like nine? 9 a.m. Yes, so I'm gonna be there at 8. They don't like you there more than an hour early. Makes sense. They don't want everything plugged up. I'm gonna show up there at like 8:01, just to be safe. 59 minutes before my appointment. I think that's fair. They ask that you show up no earlier than one hour before. 59 minutes, I think, is reasonable. Since I want to go home, <laughs> so hopefully I can get out of there by 9 o'clock. That'd be great probably be waiting there until close to 9, be out of there by 10. I have about an 8 hour drive home to our yard. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock plus I want to stop for a shower, maybe a truck wash, probably not. I'm kind of pinching all of my pennies right now. I'm in like super like over the top savings mode, hold on to every penny mode because we're about to move. I only have two more weeks of work left. Something like that, a little over. About two more weeks of work left or so until the week of our moving. But that is what we're gonna focus all our energy on. So the goal is to have the house. That 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 is, we gotta get in there now. We'll move in, <coughs> let all the dust settle, and then we'll move on and see what our next goal is. Well, we need to get a new family SUV soon. That's a depreciating asset, so that's that's always a tough one to take because you know you buy an SUV and you always lose money. Whenever you buy a vehicle, you're going to lose money, guaranteed. The second you drive it off a lot, whether it's new or used, <laughs> lost a whole bunch of money. But you need a vehicle. We live in North America, we live in Western Canada. Everything is like two days apart. You have to have a vehicle to function. You can't walk anywhere. So it'll take weeks to walk anywhere. Uh, they don't like horse and buggies on the road. They say they poop too much and you know, poop everywhere. So they want vehicles. So we gotta get a new vehicle and we'd like to get a, a bigger SUV eventually for the family. So first we gotta secure the family vehicle and then we can move on to maybe a little bit more of a personal thing. Maybe I can get a new pickup truck. We'll see. If I'm lucky, if I'm a really good boy and a really good husband, maybe I'll get a new pickup truck one day. <laughs> I like the pickup I have now. It's good. It'll go a long time yet. Yeah, no, I don't need one. I just don't. I want one. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Find a way to make your dreams reality. And make sure you keep your dreams realistic. I'm never going to be king, okay? So let's not add that to the list of dreams. 
It'll be tough to make it. I don't want to be king. Nah. No thanks. But anyway, I've been I've been babbling here for quite a bit. My battery's gonna die. Oh no. Okay, well, let's wrap this up here. Thanks for hanging out with me right to the end and listening to my babbling here. I don't know why you put up with me. I'm a boring guy, but I'm glad you're here. Glad you're my friend. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did like the video. Leave me a comment down below. And uh, see you tomorrow. Be safe out there. Keep your head up and keep your stick on the ice. And drive safe.